Hello, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you tonight? Everything good? Everything good, teacher. How are you doing? <laughs> that answer. I'm doing all right. I'm glad to see you again. Are you ready? Ready to begin? Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you finish right. the midterm, everyone? Yeah, that's the teacher. Yes. They did. Come on. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, no? All right. Do you have questions? Because I'll give the answers right now. It's now or never. Okay. So. I, I I have a problem with the part B. Yes. In the in the in the in the sentences. The okay. right sentences. Part B. Let me see. I think everybody had problems with that part, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's do that. Yes, okay. Too. okay, I'll give you the answers. What else? Part B and what else? In the yes, part B. Second and the in the five sentence. Five. In the number five. Number five. In the second. Two. Four and five. Four and five, but you have section A, B, C, D, and E. What section? It's writing, writing section. Writing, writing. writing. Let me see. Writing. Yeah, that's letter. I will give you all the answers for letter B. So, let me get there. Hold on. Okay, rewriting that one, right? Okay. So I would like you to read read the questions. Okay. Number one, I mean read the answers for everyone. And if you can please take a screenshot. All the answers are here. Take a screenshot and send them to the group, please. Alain, number one. Number one. Mm -hmm. Just read the answer. It's right here. Okay. The number one is close the door, please. Call you. Could you close the door, please? Very good. Number two, Arturo. Arturo? Can't hear you. Okay, now? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Now you're good. Okay. No, a second. Would you please take out the garbage? Or would you please take the garbage out? Yes. Awesome. Thank you very much. Ana Molina? Thank you. The number three? Yes. Don't sit there. Would you mind? Would you mind don't sit in, uh, there? Would you mind? Not sitting there. Would you mind not sitting there? Thank you. Okay, next. Carlos Calderon. Everything, everybody. Number four. Uh huh. Okay, please take the cut out. And the answer is can you please take the cut out? Yes, that's the only possible answer. All right, Javier. Um, number five. Mm -hmm. Repeat that, please. Mm -hmm. uh, the answer. Uh, could you repeat that, please? Yeah, guys, if you notice, this says repeat, not repeat, right? So this is incorrect. That's why you didn't get that answer. So this is the one you have to type. Could you repeat that, please? Okay, that's the right answer. Okay, um, do you need more help or are we good? Can we move on? Okay. Move on, all good? 
Oh, good. Oh, teach. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to contrast past, present, and future. All right, that's the next activity. We're going to go to section A4. Read the objective, please. Olga Ramirez. Hold on, Olga, let me get there. Hold on. Go ahead, Olga. Yes. Uh, uh, it, in this class, you will be exposed to an audio where example of past, present, and future tense are used. Yes, let's say, repeat guys, exposed. Exposed. Used. Exposed. Yes, one more time, exposed. 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 So don't pronounce that E, all right, in. Used. Exposed. Thank you. Um, I think you cannot see this. This dialogue is very small, so I'm gonna send it to you right now. So you can see it. All right, check what's up. You have it now. I'll play the audio. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has... Guys, can you see? Yeah. You can see? Yeah. Right, okay. In case you can't, I sent you a better picture. All right, here we go. Has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Okay, we will not do that part. Let me close it here. Now, I, I would like you to tell me, let me open it for you. I would like you to tell me what tenses you can find in the dialogue. Because we're trying to combine past, present, and future all in one conversation. So let's identify. Can you see any, any examples in the past? Past. This neighborhood sure yeah. has changed. Has changed is not past. What, what tense is it? Present perfect. Present perfect. perfect. Very good. What else? A few years. Here's a Future oh. with going to. Future with going People to. What's the example? Live here. Live. Uh, they're going live to be a shopping. People live here. No, live here. Yes, People let's identify. And people live here is present. If you say live here, it's past. Okay, so look at this. The population is growing. What tense is that? Present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous, very good. Present continuous. What about they're tearing down? Present continuous, too. Right. Present continuous. Uh, there will be. Future. 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 Future with will. Okay, nowadays they drive. What is this? Present simple. Present simple. simple. Yeah. Or simple present. Okay. We used to buy candy. Pass. Pass. Small to parking lots because everyone has, has a car. Present. 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 Okay, so we have a whole bunch of sentences and tenses in this dialogue. 
Anyway, pay attention to that. I would like you to practice it once. You're going to be Tanya, then Matt, then switch. So that means you're going to be Matt and Tanya, right? Practice it twice. <coughs> We're just going to practice it, okay? Okay. Pay attention to the pronunciation, especially. So if it's fast, make it sound like it. Ready? Ready. All right, Ready. awesome. Let's practice then. Um, here we go. We're going to do that in pairs. Okay, accept the invitation, please. I'll be with you. I'm tired to work too much. Yes. Okay. Let's okay. practice the conversation. Yes. Down on high school, they are going to build a shopping a shopping mall. This uh, this neighborhood. Store has a chain. Grocery store. Now it is. It's a. Soon they. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they, they drive. Okay. Hello, teacher. Tearing hmm? down. Tearing down. Tearing down is the rebound. So fast these days. Yeah. It seems like there is a construction sign on every corner. Remember how we used to buy. No, Carlos. Tearing. Si esa palabra no me la puedo. Ah, es como tearing, es como violent, como, o ex, como violento esa, algo así. Yeah, that means they're demolishing the school, or destroying it. Demolishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tearing. Tearing down, together, tear down. Tearing down is a phrase of verb. Yes, it is. That's right. Yeah, okay. We and need to, uh, it's a synonym of demolishing. Ah, okay. Yep. Um, like a destruction. Sorry? Like a destruction. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is they're not trying. Yeah, okay, you can say that. Did you finish? Uh, no, we need to switch. <laughs> okay, great, great. Soon there will be just love and parking lot. That's because Every everyone has a car. Fifty. When I am reading, I have some some words. When the word finish, for example, in the same consonant that the next word begins, I have some problems with pronunciation. What when I am reading? Hello, teacher. We finished. Yeah, I was listening to you. <laughs> 
we so are gossiping there, about, about my pronunciation. Which is good. But, <laughs> so if it ends in a similar sound, you have to combine it. For instance, you're going to say, um, let me see, didn't, didn't talk. Didn't talk. That T and the other T, you're going to combine it. Didn't talk. You, you yeah. shouldn't make a pause. Yeah, um, that's why sometimes I think like it's very, very strange the, the feel that with the with the tongue. Maybe because we we don't feel the the work. Yeah, I will try to help you with that later in class. Okay. We have to go back now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My pleasure. Hi again. Hi again. Oh, you're saying my lines now. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> so, um, now that you've finished, I want to break this in three. Look, this is the next thing we have to do. We have to pay close attention to all the tenses, right? <clears throat> So in this video, you can see all the structures, but I want you to practice one by one and then we're going to combine those to make it easy for you. Um, can you read the objective, please, Fer? At the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, present, and future. All right, awesome. We're going to start with the past. First, pay attention to all of them, all right? Then we're gonna study them. Um, no, we're not gonna watch this video, actually. Sorry, I'm changing my mind. So let's focus on one thing, past simple, all right? I will give you a sentence in the past and I want you to give me the negative form and the question form, okay? So the sentence will be, um, we, Started classes last month. Okay, what is the negative form of this? We didn't start class last month. Okay, these are the keywords, all right? This is all you have to use to form the past. I know you know this, guys. I will not teach you the past. We're only going to practice it, okay? So we started classes last month. What is the negative form again? We did not. We didn't. We didn't, we didn't start, start, start class last month. Classes this month, for instance. Okay, what's the question for? Did, did we, we start, start, class, did class, we this start month? class this month? Very good. And what are the possible yes, no answers? So we could say yes, we. We did. Or no. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Now WH questions. So we're gonna say why. No, we're gonna say when. When? What's the question? When, when did, did, did you did we start, start, we start the class? Yes. Very good. So in the question form or negative form, the verb is gonna be in the base form. Don't forget you are only going to modify it in the affirmative form. I think that's clear. Yeah. But the problem I'm seeing in this group is the pronunciation of the past when it's uh, when it comes to regular verbs. So when you have ED, I hear a lot of mistakes. But okay. but I I will send you a video tonight. Okay, and tomorrow we're gonna practice the pronunciation of the past, okay? Yeah. Right now we're just gonna practice. So I will send you some questions for you to discuss. Focus on using the past. If your classmate makes a mistake, please correct them, help them, all right? If you don't know the, the, the past of a verb, well, you can Google it. But let's practice speaking using the past in small groups, ready? Okay. Let's practice speaking. Here we go. Um, one second. One, two, three, no, less. Okay. Accept the invitation, please. Here we go.
De Cross Cross. <risa> I think my first crush was an actor. <laughs> I remember when I that. No. We enjoyed uh, very much. Okay, in my case, my last vacation was, I think, vacation, vacation on December. <laughs> vacation, vacation, because I, I went to the beach the last, the last weekend. This last weekend I went to the beach, but it's, it's not, in my case, I don't say that as a vacation, but on December, I went to Guatemala. A vacation in last August. I started, I started in my house. I watched I live in a Libertad to It's a great, great place. Me. It's a great place to live. But no. I, don't, I don't know where is San Pablo. Okay. Where well, you live? Okay. I remember when I was a child. Uh, or when very good trip. I think that. Now, next question: What did you do for your last birthday, Nelson? Mm, in my last birthday, uh, I we have a cell. Celebrate with you. Basically, she was my, my first crush. Yeah. And she is still <laughs> so beautiful and she's a yeah, really great singer. Yeah, I really like her style, basically in the hair. Because she Nicole basically changed a lot of the, that group. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I don't remember what is the word. Okay. In I. I slept, I slept, I slept in the morning and in the afternoon, I, I celebrate. Question about the, the other question I asked you is what did you eat for your last meal? Then me and my family, we can like to dinner to go Halloween and celebrate my birthday when we take uh, to and the, after that me and my family um, Celebrate uh, in home. They celebrated. We celebrated in home. Okay, what question are you talking about? Uh, what did you do for did your you last do birthday? For your last birthday. Last birthday. Oh, okay. For your last Second. birthday. All right, awesome. Okay, the uh, next question. Uh, uh, in the afternoon, I went to my friend's house and he invited me for a cook the cake. And in the last night, uh, I meeting with my family and me, and I cooked the cake again uh, for my last birthday uh, only that I remember only that but the the purpose of the the moment in that moment for me is a, a special moment because I'm meeting with my family yeah. and my friends say because I was meeting so or because I met in the past ah <laughs> 
Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> I was, I, I, I was, I was a king. <laughs> I missed it. Uh, yep. The what next did, one. What did you eat for your last meal? What did, what did you eat? Last meal. Meal. I ate. Um, A stick. Cheese stick? Oh, homemade stick. You mean steak? Steak. Ah, steak. Okay. okay. I remember that the restaurant. I don't know. <laughs> uh, steak. In my case, I ate a food. My mom uh, likes to do. Make, make, make pupusas. Okay. Hey, what kind did you eat? What? What kind did you eat? Uh, loroco with uh, requesón. Requesón and loroco. Seriously? What a weird combination right there. Uh, I bet they were yummy. Where do you live? Metapan. Ah, it, is it like a traditional pupusa? Like a song in, wow, seriously, I didn't know that. The more you know. Okay. I don't like requesón though. Yeah, pupusa. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'll be back. Famous singer from the 2000s. He's a Mexican. Band. Okay. Los recoditos. No. <laughs> okay, in my case. Band. Oh, I don't know. Okay, in my case, I think I don't have a, a crush. No, yeah, but your too. first crush in the past, in your life. In the past. No, I, I didn't have, I never. Ahí está la, la esposa quizá. <laughs> Maybe that's why you don't want to No, say. no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Maybe. On. Hey, Gerardo, I don't see you. What happened? Uh, right now, I, I use a computer, I don't have a camera because my brother uh, use, use using the, the other. Yeah. The other one. Using, yes. All right, very good. We're gonna go back now, no problem. Okay. <laughs> what are the lines, guys? Hi again, right? <laughs> Hi again. Hi again. <laughs> Welcome back. Hi again. Here we are. Well, those are the lines, you know. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, did you find the conversation interesting? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we did. Awesome. All right. Um, who wants to tell me? Who was your first crush? Share with me. Come on. The first crush of David. David was <laughs> Ellie, 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 Ellie Williams. Who? Uh, George, George, George. Uh, George Arturo, Arturo, yes. We, we Man, I, I think, I think Emma Watson in the movie of Harry Potter. Uh, a lot of people they, had crushes with that movie. Masi, Masi, you want to tell us? <laughs> Masi's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what she wants to say. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's ugly. Uh, actor. Who? Benjamin, Benjamin McKenzie. Oh, no idea. <laughs> um, millennium, he's millennium. Yeah. <laughs> that explains. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to ask you quick questions right now. Okay, I just want you to say yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Everybody, so everybody unmute the microphone, please. Everybody unmute the microphone, and here are the questions. Hold on. 
All right. Unmute the microphone. I want to hear you. All right. Did you did you eat lunch today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Everybody answer. Did you eat lunch today? Yes, yes, I, I, did. Did. yes I did. Okay, no, awesome. I yes, I lunched. No, you cannot say I lunched. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> lunch is not a verb. You have to say had lunch or ate lunch. Okay. Those are I the only two options. Today. Okay, did you go out today? No, no I didn't. I didn't. No, like, nope. Mm -mm. I didn't. No, yet. <laughs> they probably... no, yet. Not yet. All right. Did you take a shower today? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel is checking. He's like, I don't remember. <laughs> Let me see. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you sleep well last night? No, I didn't. Did you sleep well last night? No, yes, I, I didn't. didn't. I didn't. Why not? Yeah. You had nightmares? Why not? Well, I need a lot of hours to sleep. Ah, okay. You didn't sleep enough then. Okay, did you study English last night? Yes, yes I did. Yes, I did. I did. I did. <laughs> the class counts. It's a movie yeah, in English. Obviously, it every counts. day. All right. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Morning, Obviously, yes. every day. You want an extra point? <laughs> no? <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> I cannot give you any anyway. Okay. <laughs> and finally, did you learn something from the speaking practice? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I didn't. No, I didn't. Some of you didn't. All right. No problem. So now, look. Um, I want to show you a video because somebody commented on this and I think it's very important. I always try to share this with students. So uh, this is going to help you with your pronunciation, all right? Linking sound in American English. Please take notes, all right? Pay attention. It's going to help you a lot with, uh, with your speaking, the pronunciation too. So be attentive, take notes. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to ElementalEnglish.com. Today's podcast is on connected speech and linking in American English pronunciation. Many of my students say they want to sound just like a native English speaker. I understand the desire, but my answer to them is always the same. The goal is not to be perfect, but to progress, to be understood when speaking, and to be able to understand English when spoken naturally. One of the most important aspects of pronunciation and listening is to understand that Americans don't just speak fast, as many students believe, but that they connect their words and change the sounds of words. For example, what are you going to do becomes what are you going to do. Connected speech allows us to speak efficiently, saying the most in the shortest amount of time, and to speak with flow and music called rhythm. In this lesson, we will focus on how Americans link words together. Remember, understanding the rules of connected speech will not only help you to speak better, but will also help you understand native English speakers. Consonant plus vowel. When a word ends in a consonant sound and is followed by a word that starts with a vowel sound, the speaker should push that consonant sound forward and connect it to the vowel in the next word. For example, stop it becomes stop it. I need it becomes I need it. Play a song becomes play a song. Read a book becomes read a book. Consonant plus consonant. When a word ends in a consonant sound and the following word begins in the same or similar consonant sound, you will only pronounce that sound once by lengthening or holding the sound. You do not need to say the consonant sound twice. For example, best time becomes best time. Big grape becomes big grape. Good day 
becomes good day. Sit down becomes sit down. Listen and repeat sample sentences. You need to stop it right now. Repeat, everyone. You need to stop, need to stop it, stop it right, right, now. Right, now. To stop right now. Right now. Uh -huh. But guys, look, some of you are saying to us. It's not to us. Stop it, okay? It's to us. Stop it right now. Uh, need to, need to, just one sound, stop it right now. Let me see, stop it is connected, yeah. So say it with me, you need to stop it right now. Pronunciation. Many of my students say they want to sound right now. I need it more than you do. Go ahead. I need it more than I need it more than I need more I need it more than I need I need it more than you I need it more than you do Play a song for us on your guitar Play a song for us on your guitar Play a song for your guitar Play a song Read a book for me mommy for me, mommy. Read a book for me, mommy. Best time ever. I had the best time ever. I had the best time ever. I had the best time ever. That was a big I grape I just ate. I had the best time ever. It was a big grape. It was a big grape. I just ate. I just ate. We have to connect. Uh -huh. We have to connect three more sounds. What are those three sounds we have to connect? Just that. Just that. Just state. Exactly. Just state. 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 Okay. Two more. Two more. What are they? That was that was was a big grape. One more. We don't pronounce this P, so what are we going to do? Big grape. Big grape. Big grape. Big grape. Okay, listen, I will say it very slowly. Big grape. Okay. Big grape. That was a, that was a big grape pie. That was a big grape pie. That was a big grape pie. Big grape pie. What's a big grape pie? Just a pie. Just a date. Just state. Great by just state. Say it. That was. That was a big great by just state. Yeah, no, some of you didn't pronounce this T. Make sure you're saying date. Date. Bye. Was a. Right, Roberto, can you read this? That was. Oh, can I hear you, Roberto? All right. Let me see. Um, Lydia? Was a... No, everything. Say everything. That was a big grape I just ate. Uh-huh. I didn't hear the P here in the T here, so it's grape yeah, I pink. just ate. By day, okay. By day, grape by just date. Grape I, grape I just ate. Grape by, grape I, 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 um uh, is that clear what are the rules again you have to connect what consonant consonant plus vowel consonant plus vowel what else and the sound plus guys consonant. Consonant. Look, because this is consonant and vowel the thing is that e is mute it's silent you don't pronounce it okay so it's great by so we're talking about sounds not typing or not writing Okay, what about um, 
What's the other rule? Consonant that are similar sounds, right? Okay, there is something that's not in the video. That's a good example, look. Not in the video. Did you hear that? I didn't say not in the video, right? It's not in, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, not why? In. Because usually when you have T between, pay attention guys, T between vowels, in American English, you're gonna change it to R, right? So it's not in, not in. Or when you have D between vowels, you're gonna change it to R too, all right? That's the reason why you say, um, I, how do you read this? I need it. I need it, exactly. Need it. Because that D is it. between vowels. Look, vowel, vowel. That's why you change, this, you change the sound. Okay, how do you read this in American English? Computer. 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 Yes, Computer. you see that T between vowels. So that also happens in sentences. If you notice, this is not together, mm -hmm. but since you connect mm -hmm. everything, it's the same. All right. Uh, yeah. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. okay. I will send you. I'll send you an image right now. Hold on. We're gonna practice this just for a while. Okay. Hold on. Oh, it's, where is it? Here it is. Okay, I sent you an image. Open it, please. And I want you to read with me. Okay. What's an order? Ah, exactly. So you can see the ones that are connected. Read the first one, please, Carlos Calderon. There was an old man, Charlie Green. Yeah, very good. There was an old man, was an old, was an old. Say it again. Was an old man. There was an old man. Was an old man. Was an old man. Was an old man. Very good. Ligia, I know. Olga? Who, who tried who tra who tra to try to open? Try to. Try to reopen mm -hmm. and help. Break it open. Break open and Break open an egg. Break open an egg. Who tried it to break and open This is egg. one sound, guys. You're going to recycle the sound, right? And say try to. Try to. Listen to me. Who tried to break open an egg? Who tried to break open an egg? Try to break open an egg. Who tried to break open an egg? All right, try it. Gustavo, do I have a Gustavo? I know. Arturo, try it. Go ahead. Okay. Who tried it? Who tried it to break up an egg? You made two pauses. You cannot. Don't stop until the end. <laughs> don't stop until the end. No pauses, right? Take a deep breath and then say it at once. One pause. Who tried it to break open an egg? No, try to. Try to. That was better. Tried. Okay, Nelson. <laughs> he kicked it. He kicked it around. No. Mm -mm. He kicked around. Wait, 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 wait. I will help you, Nelson. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Look at Nelson's face. He's like, oh my gosh. No, it's all right. Look. The thing is, Nelson, this ED, and that's no, why I have to send you the video. All right. Watch the video when I send it to you. Because look, this ED is actually a that. T. The past is kicked. So this T, you're going to connect it with this. That means you're going to basically say kicked it. No, kicked it. Kicked it around. This is a T. Kick it around. Wait. It's around. How many combinations you're making? Look, it's like this. Like this. Kick around. Kicked it. Like this, kicked it. Can you see? Kicked it around. 
Don't worry, the pronunciation is he kicked it around. He kicked it around. He kicked it around. He kicked it around. Because this, guys, T, look, pay attention, T between vowels is going to be R, right? Ra round. Ra round. And this is a T. So kicked it. Tet. Kicked it around. Kicked it around. Kicked it around. Kicked it around. Sounds like this. Okay, no more. That's better. All right, next one. But fell on the ground. 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 And found that. And found that he'd broken a leg. And found that broken a leg. Broken a leg. Broken a leg. Found okay, that very good. So guys, uh, after class, all right. After class, practice this. Practice reading the sentence all together. Make sure you're saying kicked. You know what? I will send you an audio. Okay. I will send you an audio of reading the paragraph and then practice it. This is to improve your pronunciation. It's not homework. But if you're interested, well, all right, practice reading the paragraph. I'll send you an audio. Okay. Do um, you have any questions? No question. No question. <laughs> yeah, I know. It takes practice. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll try to help you with that. As much as I can, because we don't have much time. We only have six more classes, so... And we have to finish the platform. So let's let's do something. If we finish the platform quickly, I can give you additional classes, all right, or pronunciation or other stuff. So anyway, please log in tomorrow. I hope to see you all. Oh, the picture. Hold on. Everybody say, kick it around. <laughs> kick it around. Kick it around. <laughs> All right, hold on. Kick it around. around. No, 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 I'm gonna have answers with that. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me copy paste it. One second. I almost forgot. And I have to send last night. So if you don't see yourself, it's not tonight. So I'm gonna send four pictures total. All right. One second. One more, say cheese. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See you. Bye bye. Bye bye.